Hello, this is Stuart Corbridge, the Vice Chancellor and Warden of Durham University. Today marks 75 years since the guns fell silent across the battlefields of Europe. The years of destruction came to an end and people took to the streets to celebrate the peace. Today is an opportunity to reflect on the courage, commitment and sacrifice of those who bravely served our nation. In these troubled times, we come together from across the Northeast and beyond to remember the heroic efforts of those who came before us. My name is Tim Radford and I'm currently serving as the Deputy Supreme Allied Commander Europe in NATO's military headquarters in Mons, Belgium. It's a great privilege for me to be part of this tribute. I have a very strong affinity with the Northeast from three very happy years spent in St. Chad's College in Durham and also from my time serving in the Light Infantry. In this current role, I'm continually reminded that VE Day meant more than simply the end of the war in Europe. Within four years, it had led to the creation of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which has ensured that we've enjoyed lasting peace for more than 70 years. And peace has only been possible thanks to the courage and sacrifice of a remarkable generation. We owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Thank you for your service. Let us remember those who so selflessly gave their lives at home and abroad, whose sacrifice enables us to enjoy the peace and freedom that we have today. Let us remember those who came home wounded, physically and mentally, and the friends and family who cared for them. Let us remember those who returned to restore their relationships and rebuild their working lives after years of dreadful conflict and turmoil. It's especially appropriate that I'm here at the back of the cathedral in the Durham Light Infantry Memorial Garden, established in memory of those members of the DLI drawn from the communities of County Durham who gave their lives in the Second World War. So we're more grateful than words can express for the liberties protected, the freedoms secured, and the lives honored on this VE Day 75. I'm the principal of a Durham College refounded after the Second War by ex-servicemen and the daughter of a career soldier. As someone who grew up in the Northeast, I admire the people of this region for their forthrightness, their wicked sense of humor, their hard work, and their very strong sense of community and loyalty. The Women's Land Army recruited women to work on farms to replace the men who had gone to war. In the Northeast, over 130,000 women worked as land girls, carrying out a range of farming tasks. In my family, the men served in the Army, the Air Force, the Navy and the Merchant Navy. And the women served by driving ambulances, sewing parachutes, farming the land and working in factories. I'm so grateful to each and every one of them and everyone else who served. On this 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day, I'd like to thank County Durham and the people of the North East for the long-standing support to the British Army. And I'd like to take this opportunity particularly to thank those veterans and those who lived through those dark years of the Second World War. We salute you and your heroic achievements. Thank you all very much. Our heartfelt thanks to all those who participated both below and above ground Miners were soldiers, and soldiers were miners. We salute you all. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we give our today. To those who gave so much, we thank you. 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 Thank you. Thank you.